Hello, my friends. Welcome to another video. Today, we're going to be hopefully uh, completing the Cobra Rifle Range, which is uh, kind of a mini little place that they came out, I believe, in 85. Uh, before we get started on that, um, if you guys haven't picked up or seen this book, it is a must have. It's uh, by Mark Belomo. This is the guide to all G.I. Joe figures by year, all their accessories. So if you're trying to complete, um, it gives you, you know, Stalker, uh, the year he came out, all the weapons and accessories and a little write-up. So this is how we know that the rifle range will be complete. So we're going to go to 1985 here. These mini playsets are fantastic. I call them world-building playsets. Um, they were, at the time, they were very budget. Here's one here. This one's great. This is the uh, watchtower. This is one I don't have, one I'm always looking out for. It's an example of a mini playset. Uh, page 105, the third edition of the Bolomo Bible for G.I. Joe. We have the Cobra Rifle Range. Now, these mini playsets are also notorious for having thousands and millions of little parts that get lost, which is another reason they're difficult to complete. So these are all the parts that we're going to need. Now I have two different sets that I've picked up over the last couple years, and I believe I'm going to be able to complete one. So let's uh, let's get to that right now. Yo, Joe! Here's what I've acquired so far. I have the Cobra Rifle Range. I definitely know this isn't complete. I can't remember what pieces it was missing, but we're going to find out. And this bad boy I picked up at... Of course, Heroes, Cards, and Comics in my hometown here in Ontario. Best comic book store on the planet. But I think this is everything I need so we can combine these two to make one complete rifle range. Let's take a look at what I already had. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Jay, why the Cobra rifle range? That seems very, very boring. Um, it's not one that I always always wanted as a kid I never got and I just think it was cool to obviously do battles with your Joes and Cobras but on their downtime I still like to play and you know train the troops and that kind of thing I just think uh, that kind of aspect of playtime was really really cool and G.I. Joe did it so well base uh, looks like the rifle rack couple of the targets aha now I know what was missing it was the bottoms for these targets here so they wouldn't stand up but look at these these guys are just so cool these are actually colored blue cobra style uh, these are the, the same kind of guns that come with grunt and of course the typical gi joe laser slash machine gun just awesome okay so that's what i have so far okay so i'm missing the two stands here for the figures. The sandbags are the two pieces that hold up the targets. The firing range sign I don't have. Oof, I don't know if this other kit's going to have it. Let's dump out the contents here. It looks promising so far. I have another base. And we have another rifle rack. Okay, this is good. So the two stands. Now there is a problem. These are brown. According to the Belomo guide, they are supposed to be blue. They are definitely supposed to be blue. Um, I love getting Joe stands regardless, but these are not the actual stands that come with the playset. Uh, I noticed right away too that these are not the actual guns. Okay, so let's just check out the guide here and see what Mr. Belomo says. Collectors should be aware that there was a variant edition of the Cobra Rifle Range unit produced as a Hasbro Direct mail away via the 9293 Battlefield accessory set. The Cobra Rifle Range unit included with the mail away set is molded out of a different colored light brown bunker sandbag supporter in slightly darker blue rifles. Hmm. So it looks like regardless, uh, they are supposed to be blue. Uh, now that's one piece that I needed, so that's great, the firing range sign. Again, it's little buggers like this that disappear. Uh, the two sandbags. 
a must have wonderful let's take a look at the weapons because there's uh, something not right here as we can see here this is inaccurate so I have two of the grunt style blues and I'm missing this gun in the blue uh, plastic so darn so I still need one weapon you know regardless of not having the the one right colored weapon and the different colored stands I'm still very pleased I can't wait to get this together let's put it together and check it out under the light box G.I. Joe All you need is a Cobra officer, put him right there. I did take the grunt style machine gun and tried to put it in the officer's hand. There was a lot of resistance, uh, I'm not gonna force it. The verdict is quite simple, I'm in love with this little mini playset, I think it's fantastic. I wish I had more of these as a kid, I only had a select few, because like I said earlier, trying to collect them now is extremely difficult due to uh, you know all the little tiny pieces that go missing. So I've got two of these, and technically it's still not complete yet, so I'm still on the hunt for that blue weapon and the two blue stands. Thanks guys for tuning in on this little mini review of the Cobra Rifle Range Unit. If you liked the video, please hit a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed already, please do so now as well. Don't forget my friends, take care, and always, always have fun. Until next time, yo Joe!